Okay, me in the picture, check. My voice, check. And this strange stuff here called tempeh, check. What are we gonna do with it? What's tempeh? Stay tuned and find out. Hi, Chuck here from Brand New Vegan. Today we're making tempeh. So tempeh is soybean. That's all it is. In fact, tempeh is less processed than tofu. I had a comment, I think it was last week on my mushrooms where I was talking about getting my uh, grandson to eat healthier. And my bacon tofu was better than the store-bought vegan packaged processed bacon. And so my reply that tofu is processed too. Well, it is. It's just soy milk that's been curdled like cheese and pressed into a block like cheese and then yeah, packaged. So tofu is kind of like soybean cheese, I guess you could say, without the cheesy flavor, of course. But tempeh is actually less processed. It's not ground up, it's not soy milk, it's the whole soybean. Um, they're cooked and there's a mold they use this is an Indonesian product, by the way. There's a mold they use, it's edible, it's safe, that they use to ferment the soybeans and they press it into this cake and that's what tempeh is. So what do you do with it? You could do a lot of things with it. It's great for protein. I'm sure it says, yep, 18 grams of protein right there uh, per serving. This package has about two and a half servings. And I'm gonna show you one way that I like to make it and it's super easy to do. So first we got to open the package. It's vacuum sealed. There's actually two separate layers of plastic in here. So this is how I like to open it. It's an easy way. Just cut it right down in the middle like that. And then you can kind of pop it out. Like that. There we go. Next thing we're gonna do is cube it up. I think a lot of problems people have when they try tempeh for the first time, it can be kind of bitter. So you want to steam it or you want to simmer it first before you do anything else. So I've got a pot right here. And I'm going to add this to my pot. I'm going to add a little bit of water, not a whole lot. Okay. Our tempeh is done simmering. This is the marinade I made. It's the exact same marinade as in my tofu. I did add a little bit of PB2 for a peanut sauce flavor and I added a little bit of sriracha because I like the spice. So I'm going to add my tempeh this marinade. Nice thing about this marinade, when it's done, we can also use it as a sauce. That's what the cornstarch does. It thickens it up when we cook it. So I'll put a link down below and in the upper right hand corner here are the cards for the tofu I made for my grandson that he likes so much. And uh, you can get the marinade recipe from that. There we go. All I gotta do now is marinate this for, oh, at least an hour. Three minutes at a minimum, but an hour would be better or overnight. So we'll be back in an hour. And we are back. So let's take our marinated tempeh here. We're gonna strain out the liquid right into a pan. That's gonna be our sauce. Strain 
that garlic in there too. Set that aside. I'll put these on a parchment lined baking sheet. Now all we gotta do is bake these. So in your oven, your toaster oven, your convection oven, and you could probably even air fry these too. The sauce does not take very long at all to thicken up. So one thing I'll say about these induction burners, they heat up your pan very, very quickly. Just like that, our sauce is ready. I don't know if you can hear that. As soon as you take the pan off the induction burner, it stops. Little safety feature. I really like this. My friend Dora introduced me to them. Well, thanks Dora. I use it all the time. And there you go, easy baked tempeh. I hope you liked the recipe. If you do, please be sure and hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. I try to do one of these every single week to show people how easy it is to eat plant-based. And uh, until then, this is Chuck from Brand New Vegan. Thanks so much for watching. Mm, this looks good.